other tricks that I can uh, also talk about is how you can customize different builds of HyperDVG. HyperDVG has some constant values that that are like we see that based on regular needs, uh, these constants should be set to a specify to a specific values. For example, the size of buffers uh, for the message tracing is a constant number. So you could, for example, increase the this value, or you can also decrease this value based on your needs. Because there there might be some limitations. For example, uh, we might need a special need for a special command uh, and uh, these uh, limitations will be a barrier for or debugging so we try to just uh, uh, eliminate that by uh, reconfiguring hyperdvg and rebuilding hyperdvg for these particular purposes uh, in uh, all of these examples we could uh, use uh, the, the following links i tried not to re recompile it because uh, it might the uh, different customized builds might uh, change in the future a uh, version but uh, generally if we want to see the scenarios in which currently we are able to modify the source code and then recompile hyperdvg for example it uh, allows you to just see the time on debug messages uh, if you want to use wpp tracing instead of regular hyperdvg debugs and there are also other options that you can see and change uh, the debugger based on your needs. For example, the maximum capacity is also here. The chunk size of each packet is also here. And also there are all the uh, other options like the far port, port for TCP connection. You could read it and this documentation might be changed over time.